Oh, Barn, so much is unfolding with this Matthew Perry case. I don't know if you saw this or not, but Harvey Levin from TMZ is revealing that Matthew Perry met the ketamine queen in rehab. We found out that in April, this ketamine queen um, actually was charged with a separate crime uh, of illegally possessing and selling drugs. This is not just about Matthew Perry. There is a network of doctors and others who are funneling drugs to people with means. And the, the really shocking part is that a lot of these people meet in rehab, that Matthew Perry met the ketamine queen in a rehab facility along with Charlie Sheen's ex-wife, who also happened to be best friends with the guy who was the broker for the drug. She has not been charged or arrested, but she cooperated with authorities and actually led to uh, led them to her then best friend, among others. You know, this guy, the assistant, had been his assistant since like 1994. I didn't realize that. And lived in his house. Lived in his house. Sick took people. complete advantage. Awful. This doctor, by the way, did you see these text yes. messages? Where he said, I wonder how much this moron will pay. Yeah. Let's find out. I saw the doctor standing out on the curb while they were in, you know, going through his house. They had the whatever to go in and look at everything, the order or whatever from the court. It's so sad and it, and, and it makes me so angry. I'm surprised they weren't in handcuffs. They were just out milling about on the sidewalk. I know. That surprises me. Let's check out the weekend box office. Remember we talked about Alien Romulus. Yeah, big opening weekend, over $42 million. But don't worry. A couple of other milestones because it ends with us. The Blake Lively movie crosses the hundred million mark already globally. Damn. That was shocking already. Yeah, that's and then of course huge. the other milestone: Deadpool and Wolverine becoming the top-grossing R-rated picture of all time. There's so much coming out about this movie, the Blake Lively movie, that it's sort of overtaking the movie. I don't know if you saw the latest, but I guess years ago she made some reporter want to quit. Now, this is a reporter that's put this on TikTok, and she's talking about how Blake Lively just sort of ghosted her in the middle of the interview because she asked her about being pregnant, and I guess Blake didn't want to talk about this. Dude, this is great audio. It's unreal. So, when you're, I put them both together. Okay. But the first five seconds, here, listen to this first five seconds. This reporter, who, who, when I say she's a nobody, she's not like a known, you know, top of the mm-hmm. line, whatever. Mm-hmm. She goes, she tries to expose this whole pregnancy thing. And Blake, man, does not skip a beat. Listen. First of all, congrats on your little bump. Uh, congrats on your little bump. <laughs> <laughs> what about my bump? <laughs> I mean, that. Without, I mean, a second. That's so uncomfortable. I, I felt for Blake actually in that. And then, but Blake should have thought a second before she fat shamed her. Look at your bump. I mean, that's a little... That was a reaction. You're Blake Lively. You're the bigger person. Yeah, you're, no, you're right. But then, so three minutes go on where Blake Lively doesn't even look at the reporter. She's obviously, you know, teed off. Pissed talking to Parker Posey so they carry on by themselves yeah she just starts talking to Parker so then it comes back around and the girl gets to ask another question what do you feel like is the biggest misconceptions about fame and and Hollywood in general the idea that people think that they know you I think because of um, the the, how intrusive media is these days um, they people care so much more about your personal life than they do your work and if you aren't open with your personal life then they just make it up for you and share it for you so I think the biggest misconception I see often is people feeling like they know someone that they don't um, because they know what the media has has created of someone and the disappointing thing is when you meet the people they're always so much more awesome than (laughs) than 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 they're portrayed to be that's always nice you know to see Mm -hmm. that your idea of someone isn't always who they actually are. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Take care. And while she's answering that, her eyes are piercing that girl's soul. Have you heard of uh, Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice? <laughs> yeah. They're saying a huge September opening, September 6th, possibly $80 million. This is, of course, the follow-up to the 1988 Beetlejuice movie. Michael Keaton is back, Barnes, but check out this cast. Winona Ryder, Catherine O'Hara, Jenny Ortega, Justin Thoreau, Monica Belushi, 
It's going to be huge. Willem Dafoe, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Without knowing my answer, will I or won't I give them my money? No, you won't. I know you. You're right. How? Why? Why won't I? Because you're not into the Beetlejuice thing. Yeah, it just never captivated me. It's the, the anything when you get into like makeup like that, like it just felt like a little Wizard of Oz ish. Yeah, this is not a Barnes movie. Yeah. Guess who's back? Anna Delvey. What? I loved inventing Anna. The fake heiress, remember? She took money from people all over the place. She's back now with another TV show called The Anonymous. The new show called The Anonymous. That's all about deception. Boom. Dagger stab. I even know a thing or two about deception. If I had a lie detector test on, I would be... <laughs> Never be afraid to dress up. Your look? I packed a lot of outfits, and I plan on wearing all of them. <laughs> or the truth. Oh! Ooh. Trust me, I'd never lie to you. Wow. <laughs> USA's The Anonymous. The game begins Monday at 11. So this starts tonight? This starts on USA Network. Somebody gave her a show. I read about this show. It seems very much like The Circle. Yeah, you're right. It does. But, but is she hosting it? Yeah, she's hosting it. I think there are contestants. I don't know if they're trying to swindle people out of money, but... I read about it. They're all... They're competing and no one knows who the people are. That's why I was mm-hmm. surprised when you said that she was involved. So I guess she's hosting it. I'll watch this for you. I know... I'll take this one. No, but I actually... I'm intrigued by Anna Delvey. What? Reality? Wait, but you saw the net... You saw Inventing Anna. I know. Okay. Okay. All right. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Don't come into my department. You can have Beetlejuice. <laughs> Watch I've this. got this. It's going to be a train wreck. That is your celebrity sleaze.